hey guys welcome back to this channel i'm ella and in this video we are going to design a bathroom this is going to be an isometric view and we're going to focus on design and visualizations therefore when we are going to work on different parts i'm going to focus on their form and not those technical things that we have talked in previous videos if you have seen them in modeling we are going to work on three different parts and we are going to start with pass 2 so go to file and create a new family in generic model set your unit first on metres and two decimal places I'm going to model my bath tube in this part because I want to think this is a wall and also this is a wall and if we model it in this quadrant we can manage it easily so go to ref level and create some references in this part and in here use this aligning dimension for creating parameters for this part and also for here this is going to be our length and this part should be our width. I want my tube to be 80 in 180 centimeters. So I'm going to set these dimensions first and then I'm going to go to left view and in here I will select this strip blend for modeling my shape. Click on this sketch pass and draw your shape, draw your sketch from this point to here hit finish and go to first profile I'm going to use this rectangle for creating my shape and I'm going to use offset like 15 centimeter for it and I will start from this point to here hit space if you want it to be inside now I'm going to use this fillet for creating curves in all of these parts and I'm going to make sure that they are exactly the same you can hit finish and go to profile number two then draw another rectangle exactly from this point to here and again create these fillets all around it now you can hit finish okay go to 3d and this is our shape I'm going to create a void inside this with 2 or 3 cm offset. So go to left view again and from create tab select this void sweep blend. Do your pass from here to a little bit over this tube and hit finish. Go to profile number 1 in ref level and use this peak line with let's go with 2 cm offset and draw it inside this line. Hit finish and go to profile number 2 and again draw your shape, pick your lines with 2 cm offset. Now if you go to 3D view you can see your form. I'm going to go to ref level again and I will create another extrusion exactly on these lines and then I'm going to create a rectangle around it with like 5 cm offset. In front view I'm going to move it to this point and to here. I also need to create a base for this part so I'm going to use this extrusion and I will move it to here. Go to 3D view, select it and go to its edit extrusion and delete this inner loop. For filling these parts, I'm going to use again extrusion and I will draw my rectangle exactly in here, another offset of it with let's say two centimeter inside it and move it to this part and to here perfect for adding details to this i'm going to go to create and add another extrusion in ref level with this circle to this point here For the shower, I'm going to use this and in left view, first I'm going to set my work plan on left 
and then I'm going to use this circle again for creating a, a small cylinder in front view you can change its extrusion to this part and then we can use this sweep for creating a shower in here click on sketch pass and do a pass from this point to here like 20 or 30 centimeter and then 20 centimeter to this part now you can fill it this point to let's say five centimeter let's move it this a little bit more and then you can hit finish and go to its edit profile draw another circle smaller than this one in here one or less than one could be good for here okay and okay create a reference plan in this part real quick and align this point with here you can now delete these parts now if you go to front view you can use this shape here and copy it to this part then move it to up here and use it for the shower head so go to edit extrusion and change its size to let's say 8 centimeter and fix its location to here and its thickness to something like this copy it on itself and go to extrusion again and create another circle around it as a frame make it a little bit more like this let's model some very simple faucet and taps in this part so go to left view and use a extrusion for this part like this and put it in center go to front view and set its thickness to something like this while you're in here use this sweep and move it to this part fit it to this point and let's change its shape a little bit like something smaller like this use fillet again for creating curves in this part and now you can hit finish go to its edit profile in left view and make this circle a little bit smaller to like four or five centimeter use extrusion again for creating for creating another circle in this part and give it a little bit of shape like this go to front view and check their thickness now you can mirror it to the other side as i said i'm not going to make this a parametric and create parameters for different parts for controlling its dimension but i'm going to create parameters for its material so we can change them easily i'm going to use one material for this fitting and accessories here so i'm going to select these parts and this part and i'm going to click on here and create a new parameter for it and i'm going to call it metal for this part i'm going to create another parameter which I am going to call ceramic and I'm going to use the same parameter for this part too make sure that you're not selecting the void because if you select void you can't assign parameter for it for this base part I'm going to create another parameter and I'm going to call it base and this part should be our let's say well tube now you can load it to project hit a space if you want to rotate it and put it in this part use alignment to set it in this corner okay for completing this tube i'm going to add a wall a glass wall to this part and i'm going to use a curtain wall for this so select your wall and go to architecture view 
without changing any setting i'm going to create one in this part and another one in here now let's go to 3d view to fix its size to this part and to here select one mullion unpin it and then right click and select all of other mullions too like this unpin them all go to these properties and change them to a square now select the glazing part and unpin it again select the rest of them go to their edit type in here change its thickness to let's say one centimeter or five millimeter something like this and put its offset in zero and now apply go to architecture plan and move it to this point move this one to here too and extend it to this wall and also to this point in 3d view you can move it to here and this part to here let's open this a little bit more i want to add another frame to this point so i'm going to go to architecture and use this curtain grid in its center if i can fix one like this and i'm going to create another one for this part select them again unpin them and change them into this square mullion I want to move this mullion to this part a little bit more. If you want to do this, you need to select its grid instead of its mullion. So hit tab a few times until you select its grid and go to any view that you want and move it simply like this. I also want to add another windows to this part. So I'm going to go to windows and load my family like this and I'm going to put it in this part perfect now let's move on to the next part create another family in generic model and in here we are going to model our sink or basin it's going to be minimal and very simple and again we are going to create it in this part first create a few reference plans in this part in here and in this part Use this align dimension for putting it exactly in the center. Also another one for this part. Now set its size to whatever you want. I'm going to use 100 to 15 centimeter. And then use this extrusion for creating a very simple shape in here. Go to front view and create another reference plan in this part the height of a normal thing is something between 65 to 85 centimeters so i'm going to use something between them like 80 and i'm going to move this to here and this one to here go to create and select this void sweep blend for another void in this part select first profile and go to its edit type now i'm going to create a reference plan in this part and then i'm going to use this rectangle with like 10 centimeter offset in this part okay and another one for profile number two with like four or five centimeter offset again exactly on this line you can create curves in all of these parts too if you want now hit finish and go to 3d view perfect go to ref level and create another extrusion in this part move it up to here and set its thickness to something like this go to ref level again and use this extrusion and copy it to this part in front view move it up to this part go to front view and use this sweep as we used it for creating tap and shower 
from this bar to here and then to here use fillet for creating a very small curve in here and also another one for this part hit finish and go to its profile draw another circle in here and hit finish now you can move it to its position go to ref level and copy one of these to this point and again make it a little bit smaller select this tab and copy it in ref level to this part go to front view and edit sweep click on this sketch pass and delete this part and make it a little bit smaller go to its edit profile and change it to let's say 4 or 5 millimeter select it and mirror it to the other side too now if you want to change its position you can just simply rotate it from this point to here and change this one to let's say from this point to here you can work on it and make it a little bit better but i think for now this is enough go to ref level and create another extrusion be it this rectangle and like one or two centimeter offset from this point to here create another one inside it with two centimeter offset go to front view and move it to this part and to here we are going to model the frame of this whole thing so, so i'm going to copy it exactly on itself and i will move it to this part and again another one for this part go to ref level again and create another extrusion with this rectangle but exactly in this part another one in here one in this part and another one in here hit finish and go to front view again move it to this point and to here copy it again for this part and another one for this base perfect now you can use this join for joining all of these parts together this way you can delete extra lines between them too and your model will be much cleaner Select this part and create another parameter for this. If it's a stone, if it's ceramic, or if it's anything else, just enter a name for it. For now, let's use ceramic. For these fittings all together, I'm going to use metal, black metal. And also for these parts, I'm going to use another type of metal. Before we load this, let's also add a mirror to this part. So go to left view and use extrusion again with this rectangle in here and set it exactly in this center fillet these corners and in front view you can change its thickness move it to this part and make a little gap in here to use it for lighting copy it again on itself and go to left view go to edit extrusion and use this peak line with one centimeter offset for creating a frame around it now you can assign parameters to its frame exactly with this metal too and for this mirror you can create another parameter now let's load it into our project perfect you see because we modeled it exactly on this reference plan when we imported it to our project it automatically aligned with this wall next part is going to be the toilet so create another family in generic model as always let's start with creating reference lines i'm going to create one in here another one in this part and one in here use dimension for setting these in the center exactly and also another one for this part and for here 
Now go to front view and use this sweep blend from this point to here. In profile number one, which is the blow profile, I'm going to create a shape like a rectangle. Create a rectangle first, then use this partial ellipse for creating a curve in here and then delete this line. Now move this part a little bit closer to here, delete this line and mirror this to the other side. Go to profile number two and edit profile and do a bigger shape of exactly something like this. Now hit finish. If you go to 3D view, you can see your form. Now go to ref level again and create a door for this part. I'm going to use exactly the same shape with this pick line. And I'm going to make it a smaller with a scale option. Again, move it up to this part and copy it exactly on itself for another layer on it with a little bit bigger scale. Select it all and with this filter option, just uncheck this generic model voids and in this part create a permit for their material which we are going to call ceramic again. I want to create a tube for this part too so I'm going to go to left view and in here I will use extrusion again For creating a, I guess it's pipe in this part, use this line from here to here and from this part to here. Now connect them together with this start and arc like this and hit finish. Go to its edit profile in whatever view that you want. I'm going to use this 3D view. And I'm going to create a very small circle in here. Go to ref level and move it to here. There is another part that we need to create in this part, which is a head for this tube. And I'm going to create it, it very simple with a extrusion and a circle shape in ref level exactly here. Perfect. I think it's acceptable. I'm going to select them all and with this filter I will uncheck this void and then I'm going to assign a parameter for it which is going to be metal again. Now let's load it to our project. For this part you can either create a cabinet or shelves or if you want you can create a towel rack however we can create another generic model for this i'm going to create it exactly in here with this model in place you just need to create two cylinders with this extrusion move it up first and then mirror it to the other side like here and again use extrusion for creating a rectangle Move it up to this part and now just simply copy it a few more times. Perfect. Now let's assign parameters and material for these parts. Select this and go to its edit type. For its ceramic, I'm going to use a new material which I'm going to call Sink Ceramic. And I'm going to go to this part and use something with no tiles like this. For its metal, I'm going to use a black metal with new material name. And I'm going to use this one. And for this mirror, I will use another material and I'm going to call it mirror but for its material I'm going to choose 
one in this material library we have a mirror here and i'm going to use this let's change its color to something like this okay and apply perfect now for this toilet here which is very simple i'm going to use the same ceramic and for this metal again i'm going to use black metal for this one too i'm going to go to its family and since we didn't create any parameter for this i'm going to change it directly from here for this tube i am going to select it let's first change this metal to this metal black and for this ceramic i am going to use ceramic sink the one that we had created before and for this tube wall i'm going to create another material and i'm going to call it again tube wall so i'm going to use something with tiles like this one and i'm going to change its color to something like this for these mullions here, select one of them and go to its edit type. In here, change this aluminium to that black metal if you want or just simply create a new material for it. For now, I'm going to change this aluminium to black color. Now for the interior material, in these two walls, I want this part to be something like tiles and for this, I need to select this wall and cut this with this one in architecture view i need to cut from this point i'm going to select this wall this one and this one and in edit type i will duplicate this and change their gypsum material to another one and i'm going to call it wall tile go to browser and select this one i know this is a break and it's not that much suitable for a bathroom but we can use it if you want perfect it looks so good the color is so beautiful for this part you can either leave it like this or go to its edit type and change its material to wall number two and in here you can select any other material that you want let's select this one the only thing left in this part is this floor so select it and go to its edit type we can use wood we can use concrete we can use stone i want to use something like this with all of these tiles I also want to change the color of this part to this material so I'm going to select it and in edit type for this tube wall and this base I'm going to use the same material. Our room is almost complete. Now you just need to go to different views in section in plan and use dimension and annotation for different parts to show the material and distances and sizes of different objects. And also if you want to export this view you can go to this visual style and in graphic display you can check this smooth lines. In shadow you can check these two box if you want you can add sketchy lines just check this box and put these two on two or three don't go over these numbers because it might make your scene messy in lighting you can increase this ambient light and decrease this one increase this one a little bit in the last part you can add background with all of these options here okay and then go to file and export scroll down a little bit and in here you can just simply export your image so yes that's it i hope this was useful for you and you enjoyed watching this tutorial don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next tutorial bye